The Mammoth 500,000 pound XB-70 Valkyrie was easily the most impressive bomber-sized aircraft of its time. Capable of cruising at Mach 3 speeds and altitudes in excess of 70,000 feet, the big craft was nearing the end of its phase one test program 20 years ago this week, when on 8 June 1966, the number two vehicle took off for a routine cleanup mission. On board were veteran North American test pilot Al White and flying his first XB-70 mission, co-pilot Major Carl Cross. After the Valkyrie had completed its tasks for the day, it formed up with an F-5, an F-104, an F-4, and a T-38 for some publicity shots. The formation of General Electric powered aircraft assembled at 30,000 feet and for about 20 uneventful minutes, they flew in a pattern which was best suited for the cameraman's location. Then, for some unknown reason, just as the formation was about to break up, the F-104, flown by longtime NASA test pilot Joe Walker, tucked itself very close under the right wing of the B-70. His tail struck the underside of the wingtip. And the 104 then pitched up, rolled on its back, slid across the top side of the B-70, shearing off its vertical stabilizers, and then burst into flame. Inside the B-70, Al White later reported that there was nothing to indicate what had happened apart from a muffled thump. There had been no change in attitude, not even a tremor, and for several seconds, the craft continued to fly straight and level. Then it swerved into a rolling and yawing maneuver, and White got out. For some reason, Major Cross failed to even initiate the ejection sequence, and he remained in the aircraft as it hit the ground in an almost flat attitude. The mid-air collision left Al White badly injured. It left two women widows, and it cost flight research the use of an invaluable tool.